Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at activity 21H. So I've, I've decided to always do the activity because um, some people are they are always asking for the activity. So from now from now on, I will keep on doing activities as I as I handle the task. I will also handle the activities. Okay, from from now on. All right. Thank you so much. So we move ahead. So it says create a a web page containing the heading the heading winter sports right a brief introduction and an it and an unordered list of the following winter sports skiing tobogganing whatever that is <laughs> snowboarding for each winter sport make a sub list of items of clothing required right set this sub list as on ordered lists print the web page as viewed in your browser and as html all right so um so the first thing we're going to do now is to create a web page so let's go ahead so let me open my let me open my uh plus plus so i'm going to have doc type so i just want to do everything uh, afresh normally i just go and copy some structure and then it did, but let me just do that. Let me just do everything from from uh, scratch. HTML. So this tells HTML that the, the code will be in HTML5. It tells the browser, sorry, browser that um, the code will be in HTML5. Doc type HTML. So I'm going to have, of course, every structure will start with HTML, right? And then, of course, the closing tag HTML, right? So. So the next thing I'm going to have, I'm going to have my heading, the head, and then, of course, closing tag of the head. We've done all this, so you can fast forward if you if you understand what we're doing. Okay. Now, within the head, I'm going to have I'm going to have the the title. So of course, close that title. So, within the title, I'm going to have, uh, let it appear on the title bar, task, uh, task 21, sorry, activity this time around, activity 21, what is the activity again, where are you, activity, where are you, activity 21H, okay, yeah. So within after the, after the head, I'm going to have the body. So that's where everything will fall into the body. Okay. Okay. So so this is structure. Okay. So the body. Well, that's where everything everything is going to go into. All right. So uh, the the first thing I'm going to do first of all is to save this. I need to save my web page. Okay. So I have my folder in the desktop. Where are you? Web page. Good. And then so this time I run activity. Activity create a folder. We call it activity 21H. Right? So within there, I'm gonna call this um, activity. So the web page is gonna be activity 21 21H dot Sorry, dot HCM. All right, so I'll save that. Okay, good. Before I start doing any other thing, so um, so the, from the question, I actually made a prototype on Microsoft Word. I actually made a prototype on how it's going to look like. All right, so I did the, the little introduction from the question, and then the you know the um, winter sports keying and all that. So I've done this. So the next thing I'm going to do is to replicate this as a web page. So, winter sports. So, I'm going to just write a code for that within. So, I'm going to have it as H1 now, as a matter of fact. So, H1. So, it's going to fall within H1. So, winter sports. Close my H1. Okay. So, that's for that. But let me just give this in a little bit of a tab. Okay, so the next one is going to be 
The next one is going to be the on order list. No, no, the what's it called? The introduction. So let me just copy this. Let me just copy this, right? And then the introduction will be in. Um, let me put it in. Uh, yeah, paragraph actually. Yeah, let me make it a paragraph. Okay, and then paste what I have in there. Let me paste that. Okay. Good. And then uh, the next thing was my cursor. Where are you? You're here. I have to bring it down. I can bring this down actually, but mm, let me just leave it like that. It doesn't really matter how it is. So uh, that's the next thing. Okay, so let me just save this and then view this in a web page. Let me see how it's gonna look like. Mm. So let me go. Let me go back to the. I always like to do it from the the folder. So let me just view this on a web page. Sorry. Absolutely sorry. Let me just view this on a web page. Okay, so this has gonna look like okay. So we're in order. So the next thing we're gonna do is to add the bullets list. Okay, so I'll go back to the code. I'll go back to the code. I need the bullet list. So the bullet list, of course, is gonna be on order list, which is the UL. So we introduce our UL. Okay, UL. Okay, and then within the UL, we're going to have the we're going to have the list, right? Li. So the first one will be skin. And then the second one is going to be toboganning. <laughs> Man, funny. So I'm going to just copy this, copy this line, and then paste it down there. Uh, toboganning. Toboganning. I think it's toboganning. Something like this. I suppose the spelling is correct. Eh, toboganning. Okay. So snowboarding. That's the next one. So I have snowboard. Nobody. Nobody. Okay. So this is the list that we expect. Save that. Refresh your page. Uh, are you refreshing? Come on, let's go. Yeah. And then we we'll have this. So we're gonna do some sub list this time around, which is sub on other list. Now let's go back and then keep adjusting. Okay. So. So on that screen, I'm going to have on other list, which is UL again. And then of course close that, UL, close that. So um, I will now introduce list again. Sorry. LI, close this. LI. Okay, so within here, from what I have here, I'm going to have long, so the list of, uh, from the question, that will be the list, where is it, uh, for each winter sports, make a sub list of items of clothing required. So, so for skin, we have long underwear, that's number one, so I'll have to put my code again, yeah, long underwear, so I'm going to have it right there. On the wheel, and then um, the next one. Let me just copy in this code. So, oh, God, sorry. Copy this. Okay, since I have already one, let me just put, paste, paste it there. And then have the gloves or meetings. Okay. So I have gloves or meetings. The next one is going to be helmet. Helmet. And then I have uh, the next one. So I just uh, randomly picked five items, okay? 
logo so you can pick less or more depending on what you how you want it okay so i have uh what am i doing just paste this thing google bubbles okay nice then i paste this also and then i have a snowboard jacket so snowboard jacket okay so i'll save my changes and see how my my web page is looking like so that's exactly what i what i expect to see so i'll do that for tobogan gun too okay so let me see mm, yeah so under this so i'm gonna have in fact what i'm gonna do now is just to copy these guys here and then on that on that to the beginning uh let me see let me see let me see so i'm gonna probably move the cursor a little further and then paste this so still on other list so within the list now i'm gonna change the i'm gonna change the um, the items okay so hearts global meetings okay so this first one will be hearts and then the next one so the third one in fact because snow pants I have snow pants there. Snow pants. Uh, the fourth and fifth winter jacket and snow boots. So I have winter jacket. Winter jacket. And then snow boots. Snow boots. Oh, sorry. I'm just already. Okay, so that's for that. I'll copy this again, just for convenience sake. Go down again, move my tab, and then paste. What do I have as snowboarding items? I have some pad. Just wanna have a little something different though, even though it's not, it's not like this, not that. Some pad. Then the next one is gonna be wax and tuning kits. So I have wax tuning kits, kits, and then the fourth and fifth will be protective gear and snowboard bag. So I have um, protective, protect, protective gear yeah, bag and the. Uh, What's the number one? Snowboard bag. Okay. Snowboard bag. Okay. So that's complete. So I will save my changes again by pressing Ctrl S and then uh, viewing this refreshing in a web browser. And then I'm going to have this. Okay. So the first thing I did was to create a sample of it. Okay. And made, made my research about the winter sports. Right. And then before I started doing this. Right. What else do I need from the question? Okay, so the question also asks that you print the web page as viewed in your web browser and HTML and as HTML. So now, the thing you're going to do um, here to print this, just go to these uh, three, dots, three dots here at the right uh, top right side. Click on it and then you go down to print. Okay, so from your print layout, you're going to see how your printout is going to look like okay don't mind my computer it's a little slow all right so that's how it's going to look like when it refreshes um what's the next thing yeah so this is it this has going to look like okay so that's that i'm not going to print so you can print if you want to all right so the next question okay so now the, the html code so of course you can go ahead to also print from here if you want to so you can can go ahead and then print from here if you want you can copy all your codes here to microsoft word anyone you want to do all right so the next thing the next uh, question here is also where are you oh sorry yeah change this sub list to ordered list again print the web page as viewed in your browser and then as html okay so we're going to change so to change the the sub list as or that list simply go to your U, ul and then change it to ol okay so let me just um 
check this and see whether it's going to work. So I'll save my changes and go to my browser and then refresh and then see that it has changed to number list now, which is ordered list. Yes, ordered list. Yeah. Okay. So so I'll do I'll do that for the rest of the sub list. O L uh, closing tag of that. O L. So the next one. I'm gonna have O L also here. O L. And I'm gonna have O L here. Okay. So I'll save my changes again and then refresh, and everything becomes you know uh, or that list. Okay. So I think that's about it. Okay. So you can go ahead and print and print the HTML code. Okay. So that's about it for this act um, for this activity 21 H. All right. Please, if you have any concern, any question, leave a comment down below. I'll be glad to see your suggestion. Okay. Thank you so much for this. I uh, hope to see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye.